we're about to take you on a journey with a young man called Jenny Drill. A young man who's stolen the hearts of many young women around Nigeria and I dare say the world. His voice and his talent is second to none. He was discovered by Don Jazzy. Get to find out the intimate details as he leads us through his journey on my first speak break. Hi, my name is Johnny Drill and I'm a musician, I'm a singer, songwriter and music producer. And I got my first big break in 2015. My first big break was when I dropped my first major song, which was Wait For Me in 2015. But of course, I've had all the big breaks. Um, I think the next one was um, when I met Don Jazzy in 2016. Um, and yeah, I got signed to Maven Records, um, the biggest record label in Africa. As an alternative artist, that was huge. That was, uh, that was awesome for me. Um, so yeah, that was another break. I had another break again. <laughs> I've had plenty of big breaks. I had another break in um, this year, actually, in April, when I, well, of course, I traveled out of the country for the first time. And then I, went on big, I, I performed on Big Brother Niger to like the biggest audience so far. I heard what I heard before I went to perform was that it was going to be um, 41 countries and like 80 million people watching. Or was it 100 million people watching? And um, so yeah, it was a huge deal. I performed and the internet went crazy. I was training for like three days nonstop. Um, so yeah, that was another big break. Okay, let me take you back to um, the big break with Don Jazzy, when, when I met Don Jazzy. Um, so it was um, 2016, late 2016. Meanwhile, um, I'd already been in contact with Don Jazzy since, since 2015. Um, that was after I dropped my cover of Dijon's song, Awe. Um, I, I dropped it in February, it was like February 20, January 29th or February 29th. And then the day after I dropped it, um, Don Jazzy follows me on Twitter and then we start talking on, over, over DMs. So he was asking all these questions, where, where are you from, how old are you, um, what do you do, do you visit Lagos? And in my mind then I was like, yes, I'm about to get signed to Living Records. Uh, but that was not going to happen <laughs> immediately, I mean. Um, but we kept, we kept talking over DMs. I would send him music, he'd listen and tell me, yo, I like it, I love it. And that would be it. Uh, sometimes I would send him DMs, he wouldn't respond. I would send him DMs again, he wouldn't respond. But I just kept sending DMs. At some point, I got tired. I was like, yo, no, let, me just, let me just keep pushing my music and forget this whole Maven dream. <laughs> um, so I continued putting out music. And after a couple of months, out of nowhere, Don Jazzy messaged I, I think I dropped Love Don't Lie at that point. Um, he messaged me by himself that he just heard it and he loves it. We had like another long period of no, no contact. And uh, out of nowhere in 2016, late 2016, I was in Lagos at the time. I, I came visiting Lagos the previous day. And that Jazzy sends me a message, like, are you in Lagos? And I'm like, yes, I'm in Lagos. And he wanted me to come over to Maven Studio. So I went there. The security won't let me in, of course, because I didn't have any phone number or anything, any contact with Jazzy or anybody inside, I just had Twitter. So I sent, I sent Jazzy a DM, uh, my phone died, went to charge it, by the time it came back on, um, Jazzy had responded that she come back, so I went back to the studio, they let me in, that day I met Tiwa Savage, met um, Dr. Sid, met Cordy, met The Prince, met Jazzy of course, Big and um, yeah, Tega, and the rest is history. Hey guys, my name is Johnny Drill. Keep watching Hello Nigeria on Wazobia Max TV. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.